quick tutorial on how to install Windows Embedded Standard 2011. Pretty complex when you're downloading. Open up a Google search page. Type in Windows Embedded Standard 2011 MSDN and then it will come up. Nope. Shouldn't be putting all those stuff in to see what happens. I should enter. Well, I shouldn't enter this to 2011 either. So I got to this thing. And then you just click on. Either of those. You know, nope. Or you can just, um, the easiest way is connect dot Microsoft dot com slash Windows embedded. And then sign in your MSN account or whatever. I've already been doing that and downloaded the ISO file. Whatever you have, 32 or 64. Go to the virtual machine. Then new. Create a virtual machine. Windows embedded. 2011. I don't know if it looks like Windows 7, but I do need the sound card for it. And I put in a gig and a new virtual hard disk. I think it needs that much. And it's enough. And then click CD Capture ISO image. And then I have it in somewhere in my drive. Um, I don't know if it works. It looks like really, really, really fast. Unbelievably. I don't know if it really need that much RAM or something like that. Oh, it's better than Windows 7. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, it's actually a better version of Windows 7. No wonder it gets that big. And that starting Windows thing is obviously the Windows 7 startup thing. Looks exactly like this. And Right now I'm going to pause the video. Now it boots up. I'm not sure what this is. But um Ugh. It might be something like Windows 7. I can get a key for free. And I'm going to uh, 
Oh, I don't understand what that means. Let me figure it out. I still don't understand what that means. But let's try it. Okay, I don't understand what building images. Let's deploy an answer file or VM. Vim, not VM. Oops. Unattended file. Accept the license terms and click next. Use a template. Create an image from scratch, then click next. Language to install. Oh good, I found the Chinese thing. I don't know if it really changes the language of the machine. But let's see. Automatically detect devices. Yeah, click next. Right now, the following drivers will be installed. Browse. Four gig per drive. I think it uses one gig of it. I have overestimated it. So I made a user error. Pause the video. Okay, now it's copying files. I don't know if this is faster than whatever. But I will come back when it reboots. <laughs> 